Good afternoon, everyone. This is Voices from Water Citizen. I'm Carlu. Today, I'm with uh, Raphael. Mm -hmm. I find in China a lot of good people. Mm. A lot, a lot of good people. The most important thing for me is the people. Mm. No, the humans. Uh, music is a communication. Mm -hmm. Music is a way to communicate. And who we connect is with another person. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. okay. Yeah. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My name is Rafael, I'm from Peru, I'm a musician and work here in China for some time already. Yeah. Many years, right? Many years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be here. So. Uh, how many years have you been in China? China, I come, the first time I come to China was 1996. 1996. Yes, 1996. And I work in Guangzhou. Uh -huh. And I work with a band, a mixed band from Peru, but also with the Chilean people from Chile mm -hmm. and people from Bolivia. Mm -hmm. It was seven members of the band. Yeah. And was playing some uh, Andes music, which is a traditional music of Peru, mm -hmm. or Latin America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the intention to show Chinese people the music. Yeah, I, see. Country, yeah. I see. <laughs> and uh, so, at the first place, what made you stay? What made me stay? Uh -huh. Stay here in China. Yeah. Okay. In 1996, there is not many news about China. Mm. Not many things we know about China. Mm. So I was in Vienna, Austria, before I came to China. I see one newspaper from El País, which is a Spanish, uh, uh, very famous uh, newspaper. newspaper. Uh, in Austria? In Austria, yeah, I was uh -huh. but in, in Spanish. So I, uh -huh. I always read that one in, in uh -huh. the Sundays. Uh -huh. And I see some pages uh, in the middle of the, of the newspaper talking about Beijing, China, and how they think about China, how they think about the politics, the people. I didn't agree with that 100%. I want to see by myself. I want to really check it out, if mm -hmm. it's true or not. So I, I really want to come to see China mm -hmm. by my own. Mm -hmm. and uh, prove it is really why they say it's true or not. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my college friends who play music, he called me by telephone and he told me that, uh, that he have a chance to come to, to China with a band. So I was really interested to come here. I said, wow, that's where I want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, not for the money, because the money wasn't really big, mm -hmm. not really. Mm -hmm. But the Curiosity. opportunity, mm -hmm. yes, to be here mm -hmm. and interact with, with uh, Chinese people. So to understand also them, to understand uh, music also. How, how is Chinese feel, how they, they think about it, how is Chinese music, how they feel our music. And, and if you try to see if everything they say of China is true or not true, I, I just want to try to see that. Mm -hmm. When I stay in the park, the first things we do, or in my case, I do, was to connect, try to connect with with Chinese Chinese people. No? Mm -hmm. It was a really good good experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese people are very friendly. It is true. It's not because I'm here in China and I'm with you. No, no, no. It's the true is the true. <laughs> I'm the most unfriendly person actually in China. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Completely. Yeah. Completely true. Yeah, Chinese yeah. people is. Uh, very, I think, in my point of view, I can say very clean in the way to think. They are very innocent sometimes. Mm. And I like that. Like a I, naive or simple, very like simple, a simple mind. Mm. Very, I, I come from another, I visit many places in the world. So in China, I was people so, so pure, so open, really. So mm -hmm. it moved me mm -hmm. uh, to have this, uh, so many people who can accept us in this way, you know? Mm. Even Chinese don't express too much when we play, they don't clap. Mm -hmm. But they like it in the heart. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, we, we start to play, 
And I remember we play good. We have a good band. Mm -hmm. We play very good. And we first we play the first song, we finish the first song, and then there's a silence. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody clap. Yeah, because Chanif like, don't know don't how clap. to express. So we, want, we all thinking what we <laughs> yeah. see each other and say. We are doing okay. something wrong. Yeah. Again, again, next song, better. Uh -huh. Wow, we play better. Uh -huh. The second song, we finish the song. Silent. Again, silence. <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? We play so bad, come on. Uh -huh. Then after we finish the performance, the translator, we have a translator in the park. Uh, she is a girl, but she said, no, don't worry about these people like it. Mm -hmm. Because they stay. Mm -hmm. The whole show was full. Mm -hmm. of people nobody leave even the even the security was watching the show mm. so uh, I said okay I, will, I I need to check it out <laughs> and it's true it's true uh, mm. then we we try to teach the people to to clap and it, it happens it happens yeah uh -huh. later happen and so the question why I stay in China that's mm. the question that is the reason the reason I stay in China the most important thing for me is the people. Mm. No, the humans. Uh, music is a communication. Mm -hmm. Music is a way to communicate things. And who we connect is with another person. Mm. We connect with people. Mm -hmm. So for me, and I always want to have this kind of interaction, mm -hmm. I find in China, a lot of good people, mm. a lot, a lot of good people, not 20, 60, no, hundreds of good people. And that really made me feel very comfortable here, mm. very, very comfortable. So the day after the four months we stay in China, after the contract finished, because it was only for four months, mm -hmm. I couldn't leave. Uh, I had to say goodbye to my Chinese friends I make in four months, and I make mm -hmm. friends so close with them then I seems like I know them for years already. Mm -hmm. I see them every day, they visit me every day, we go to it every day, they have really good good time without any kind of interest. Mm -hmm. They have no interest on me to give them nothing. Mm -hmm. Just give me this feeling. Like a friendship. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I feel like Connect. a family. Mm -hmm. So when the time comes and I have my already packed my luggage there and my ticket in my hand. Mm -hmm. with my passport and the table and then this was some hours later before we go to the airport I remember it was uh, 3 o'clock in the morning something because we go in the morning earlier mm -hmm. then one of my best friends come to say goodbye to me I couldn't leave I just I, I can mm. he said goodbye <laughs> and I say no way, I cannot go. It's too difficult for me. At that time, you plan to fly back to Austria? Yeah, yeah, we oh. have the flight ticket to go and come back. Ah, okay, okay, yes, okay. So I say no. Mm. I feel more comfortable in China. Mm. And uh, I feel like I have more to do here than in Austria. Also, yes, yeah, my friends told me if I'm crazy. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, my friends on the band say, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? Yeah, so they what's don't wrong with they you? don't understand, you know? <laughs> Just because of people. Because, because the normal, normal, uh -huh. you choose uh, what is more comfortable for you in the way of things. Like if you have money or it's a better country or looks better. Mm -hmm. I don't choose in this way. Mm. I choose where I feel comfortable, where I feel welcome, where I feel love is really mm -hmm. love, no? The, the decision was made because for me mm -hmm. the most important is people. 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 And where I think I need it. And did your global trip start from Austria and then <coughs> you visited many yeah. other places yeah with my band with the band we make in austria i mean the organization called markawasi which Marka is Wasi. a place in, in lima markawasi mm -hmm. and uh, i play with this band which is a band from peru and chile mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and i play with them until like, before 1995 mm -hmm. and we travel around uh, countries in europe mm -hmm. and also japan especially japan mm -hmm. because in japan 
-hmm. And it was really a very good experience mm -hmm. because they was older than me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I have a lot to learn from them, a lot of things to learn, how they manage the life, how they think about things. And that was the first time I was out of my home mm. without my family. So yeah, you have to learn mm -hmm. <laughs> anything, you, know, you have to learn. Like, anything uh, impressed you the most uh, on your trip, like, uh, for example, in those different culture? Yes, yeah. yes. As a Peruvian person, because I still think in, and I still feel my country is my country. I, I don't, I'm, even I'm most of my life out of Peru. I never feel I'm not Peruvian. I'm mm -hmm. Peruvian. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my people uh, in my country, they suffer for insecurity. We have always uh, insecurity. We, we cannot go out in the night. We cannot have money. We cannot really dress good. We cannot buy a good car. We cannot make up the house because there's uh, people who are watching us and say, oh, there's money there. So they will do anything to get you money. Mm. They will kill you. Mm -hmm. So we are always under pressure all the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't push yourself. all the time. Mm -hmm. We get used to. Mm -hmm. We get used to. So when I go to Austria or, or China, for example, or Japan, mm -hmm. this feeling you don't need, you don't need that. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. was the first day I had to Austria. Mm -hmm. I remember <clears throat> the first night mm -hmm. about eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. In Lima, in, in my city, from already that time, you have to take care of yourself. Even men, the women even more. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was walking with my friends, the one who helped me, and mm -hmm. the other guy, walking, and it's 8.30, mm -hmm. and I start to feel nervous. I start to, to be alert, you know. If mm -hmm. it's somebody, I try to avoid people. Mm -hmm. So my friends say, relax, what's wrong? So, yeah. you know, but there's guys in, in the corner. Mm -hmm. So what? There's not Lima. Mm -hmm. Here is not criminals. Here is not people. Nobody going to take a gun and say give me or kill you or something. It's completely safe here. Mm -hmm. That's impressed me most. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people in my country, there's a lot of people. I'm sure they don't know it's possible to live like this. Mm. They don't know is that it's possible. It is possible. It is possible. Mm. So that's one thing. The other thing impressed me a lot uh, outside in my in my travel are uh, that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of good people in the world. But we are thinking sometimes there's a, a madness around around life, but it's not true. Mm -hmm. Most of the people are good. Mm -hmm. I think maybe eighty percent. There's only 20% people bad, but 80% are good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And that is give me hope. Uh, hope not for me, but for the humanity, for the mankind. Mm -hmm. you know? Because we forget sometimes we are part of, of uh, all the, the, the whole world, mm -hmm. of course. We are just part of it. We are not different. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, you are Chinese, I'm Peruvian, so we are different. No, we are exactly... Humankind, yes. human beings. Yes, we are the same. Mm. That's, that's the other thing I I learned around the world, that we are all the same, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can touch by the music. Yes. You can cry because you see something, yeah. mm. you know, tragedy or something yeah. really touching. Exactly. Yeah, you also we smile. All, yeah, yeah, we all look for the same things. Mm -hmm. We have all looking for love in the end. Mm -hmm. In the end, this is the most important feeling, and the only feeling who really stay with us is love. Mm -hmm. And love, in the and not only love, passion, love, or love of a woman, love completely, love to a brother, to a father, to son, to wife, girlfriend, nature, whatever. Mm -hmm. love. But love is the feeling who move mankind, and this is in all the world the same. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you are. From Pakistan or from from China or from the United States or from Peru or from Africa or from wherever. Mm -hmm. Love can be like a, like you. I think I remember one one time you said uh, um, music opened up your world. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes. I think love is also kind of like a. It's a it's a something you cannot measure by dimension. 
mm. it's so huge and so big and that uh, actually put the people together yeah. and you didn't really divide it mm. if you have this big love right exactly mm -hmm. but I, okay it's difficult it's very deep thinking um, mm. and it's very difficult to <clears throat> that sometimes to to explain mm -hmm. uh, we all look for something for happiness Mm -hmm. Means uh, naturally we look for happiness. Yeah. The problem is, what makes you happy, or what makes me happy, or what makes him or her happy? Mm -hmm. No, always we want the same. So some people feel happy, for example, to in my case, I'm mean, so happy when I play this. Mm -hmm. Some people may be happy because they cure someone in the hospital. Because a doctor, he cure someone. Oh my God, that's I feel so fine. I'm a doctor. I cure this guy. But there's people who have another kind of happiness. Maybe doing just doing money, and that's it. I, mean, I don't care if I hurt someone or not. But am I happy? Whatever. But then this happiness, we lost, lost sometimes the way. We lost sometimes. I think we because I'm American because I'm the same, right? Um, we should think about that if we see deeply what really make you happy, what really make us happy, what really move us to do all all what we do, music or whatever, is because we need we want to receive something from the others. If mm -hmm. that is that feeling that we, we cannot be alone, it's the other people who accept us. Mm -hmm. And this feeling for me is called a kind of love. It's love also. Mm -hmm. We need be accepted by the other people. I mm -hmm. think that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So most of the people we looking for this. There is a twenty percent, maybe or even less, the people that are maybe feel different. Mm. They are different. I see. I think the happiness and pleasure is a bit different. It's different. Yeah, pleasure. Maybe money can make you feel pleasant mm -hmm. for a while. Mm -hmm. Happiness is a status. Make you calm down. Exactly. Make mm -hmm. you feel connected. Mm -hmm. Uh, you being accepted by others, you also accept the others, mm. and uh, I think that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Uh, ah, you remind me like uh, you know the first time when I I see your performance mm. uh, a month ago, mm. I met this guy who mm. was uh, Shanghainese, mm -hmm. and she he don't speak English, don't yeah, speak yeah, yeah. Spanish. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But he was so much enjoyed in your music, yeah. <laughs> and he he danced very well. And mm. he, and uh, later on we have a conversation that uh, he become your huge fan. Yes, like the, he right. follow your uh, band for s many years, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. you don't really communicate yeah. by language, but yeah. you communicate by yeah. music, I guess. It is. Yeah. And that's also why. I really want to interview you mm. because you mentioned that music is language. It is. Music, yeah. yeah. Music art is language. Yeah. Is, is there, kind of a language. Yeah. Is there any other, besides this guy, is there any story about music is language? Yeah, so uh, from, there's a lot of yeah. stories. Uh, okay, H hard to begin. Mm. Like when you for travel example, other for example, yeah. that one, the one I last time, I think we want a good example. I was in Japan yeah. with my band and playing and a performance. A lot of Japanese people with, uh, I mean, I, I think one of the Japanese are there really high standard, I mean, economically. Mm -hmm. We all tied and all serious, so for now, we are mm -hmm. playing music. Uh, after we finished the, the set mm -hmm. of the performance, mm -hmm. uh, we was already changing our instrument because we're gonna play again. But we have to change the clothes because we used to change clothes in the middle. Mm -hmm. That some someone come to the place where changing the clothes, mm -hmm. some of the guys, and he was so moved mm -hmm. about the music. I saw him before when we was playing crying. And sometimes I see people cry when we play. Actually, I do. It was like uh, okay, but when he comes to to us, and he hold me, he tell me the hands, and, and he tell me with tears in her eyes. He say, "How you don't know how happy you are, how free you are. Mm. You are so free, so happy. I, 
I'm moved by this. Mm. And I I was very, I mean, just don't know what to say, really. Uh, that's just an example of how, peop- how music can open people's heart. People's heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, wow. Another also, it happens to me many times when I perform, when I perform, especially in China, mm-hmm. <coughs> that before I start to play, nobody cares. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't do the play. And, I am a normal guy, so nobody cares. But after I perform, maybe somebody who don't care about us mm-hmm. suddenly feel connection. Mm-hmm. So they will come and say, "Oh, I like your performance. Thank you very much." So this kind of open of people, I think, is our responsibility to never use it to our whatever we want to. So we have to respect this opening to give them something mm-hmm. I, I think so so our behavior should be good i think i uh, i different musicians feel different than me but i feel like i, I should behave with good because i uh, when i'm the stage i'm it's not me who on the stage it's my country mm-hmm. it's the music of my people mm-hmm. while i'm playing mm-hmm. so i represent them even if i don't want Mm-hmm. I still represent my country, my music, my people. You so, as well. Yes, so my rep- mm-hmm. I have to respect the people. I have to respect. I have to behave you with them. I always have to be nice and good and really listen to to the people who open for our music. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I, think. I see. Mm-hmm. And after you travel all all those countries, mm-hmm. and uh, do you believe in world citizen concept? At the beginning, yeah, in the beginning, and now I still have this, but later I start to travel around the world and I start to find that the Austria people, the Japanese people, the Peruvian people, the Singapore people, the Chinese people, the Taiwanese people, they, we all are exactly the same. Mm-hmm. I can communicate with another person, like he's my brother, my sister, my son, my daughter, whatever. It doesn't matter if he is. Which race or which country is come from? So you actually believing, like everyone should be world citizen because yes, I uh-huh. think this, this is the mm-hmm. I hope the future. Mm-hmm. I hope because mm-hmm. this uh, boundaries only separate us, make us believe we are different, but we are not different. Mm-hmm. Not different. But how you define the world citizen? Because everyone also give different definition. I I believe more like a human human beings. Like the humanity, humanity, like basic humanity. Yeah, we have responsibility in the world. Mm-hmm. No, uh, mm-hmm. the world is only one, and this is the only one we can live. Mm-hmm. There is no other world waiting for us there. This is the only place we can live. Mm-hmm. But music is different. Music is a is a way to spread love, mm-hmm. to put people together, to link people. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the example you just have been given. You know the the Chinese guy who don't speak Chinese and Spanish, yeah. who is so enjoyed and who who he is really amazing people f- from my point of view because I just get to know him once, yeah, yeah. and uh, yet uh, on Friday night I yeah. bring some friends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started teaching us those dancing moves, yeah. and he was watching the purse for us, yeah. and always remind us ah. Having fun, but still be a, be be careful, something like that. Mm. And he uh, would love to introduce other people to us. He he told me, oh, he want to introduce one of your, uh, one member of your band to me. So it's a very nice feelings. Yes, yes, yes. And also the example that like the Japanese guy, mm. he was so touched by that because mm. I think he needs those freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, also meanwhile, he why he can open up and talk to you. Mm. I think that the music is a power. It Sometimes is, it is, people are so you know yes, closed, yes. Mm. and they 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 kind of like carry out a mask on them mm. for as a society, like as a social identity. Yeah. But they didn't uh, open up as true themselves. Mm. I think deeper down in every humanity, even in politicians, they have their true themselves. Yes. Who are also looking for love. Mm. Who are looking for you know. I don't know, like you said, acceptance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who not really playing those games? Who mm. 
also a baby, like mm. uh, you know, who needs love. Yeah. I think music could be. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Music, uh, music, make is music and arts, especially mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. especially music. Also, theater have the same because we have music involved. Mm -hmm. uh, but especially music, in my case, as a musician, can open a door mm -hmm. to some people. Mm -hmm. But how the door is open different ways. But mm -hmm. one of the ways is the admiration. They admire you. Mm. They admire the artist. Wow, how, how, how he played like this. How he seen like this. Oh my God. They want, I need to know him, you know. Mm -hmm. And they, they put you in a high standard. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's a responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah, responsibility. It's a huge responsibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people come to me, they admire me. I feel, wow. I, <laughs> come on, I'm a normal. I'm like you. <laughs> no, you're great. You're really great. <laughs> they say, no, but I, uh -huh. I feel responsible mm -hmm. not to disappoint them. Yeah. Somehow. You, know. you probably don't know like uh, how enjoyable when we were in your music. You know, like uh, my friends, they don't normally they don't dance. I but they, that's so, they're having so much fun yeah. and they're so relaxing. You can see from their shining eyes. They are relaxing. And yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I think that's yeah. the magic of music. Yeah, and yes, you yes. don't need to be modest about it. <laughs> no, you are great. No, no, Your no, no, band no, no, is no, really no. great. Oh, yes, Mama Huko. Mama, Mama, Mama Huko. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the singer is good. The singer is good. Yeah. All of you yes. are good. Yes. All of you are really good. really good. Yeah. yeah. It's our profession. It's, it's uh, our profession. Mm -hmm. Make a profession to to do that. To to even our behind us, we have uh, problems. We just uh, stop these problems for a moment. We become some mm -hmm. something music, right? Yeah. And then we give to people to move to to do something to give a message to them. For for my point of view, we we should continue. Uh, doing the music here in China, but I, I need, I, we have a project, we mm -hmm. have some projects to make some music, recording music, actually I compose some songs. Mm -hmm. uh, one song happens, it's an instrumental song, uh, it happens before the pandemic, mm -hmm. it's nothing to do with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much no, for, for okay. taking uh, time to talk mm -hmm. with us. And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and see you next time. 更多的是关于人跟人之间的沟通，因为现在可能呃，就是我们原本以为互联网是把每个人连接在一起，但有些时候你反而觉得互联网的发达反而是让大家可能更。啊，应该怎么讲？它不一定是互联网的问题，它可能更多是当代社会，它更多把人是部落化的。每个人可能有自己坚定的一些信念跟想法，然后可能更多的没像以前一样就这样做。包含我之前朋友，呃，就是微信群里面也好，如果有一些观点是不同的话，大家尽量是好像去避免去讨论，呃，胜过于就是。但是呢，或者是讨论了，但是每个人是更坚定了自己的想法而而不是去做任何的，就是解读。呃，这个事儿其实让我自己挺困惑的，就是面对这样的一个情况。嗯，那后续有没有什么就是解决方案？嗯、呃，那个老师提到了，就是说，哎，能不能把我们的关注的点或者讨论的话题更多元化？加进更多的维度，会不会让大家能抽身出来？就是不要陷在一个 tunnel view 里面。我的理解是这样，就是有点像 tunnel view 里面。然后完了以后呢，其实，呃，就是比主题更大的可能有更多的主题，但比更多主题更大的可能是人性本本本身，就是基础人性的一些探讨。那比基础人性更大的会是什么呢？可能是历史。我们从纵向的来看。我们的严格，可能你也会跳出，跳出来看到更多的一些东西。然后比历史更大还有什么？啊、呃，我觉得音乐就或者是舞蹈，其实这些可能
也是很、啊、很大的一个话题，然后可能会让我们抽身出来，可以去去去看的一些另外的角度。我们可能更多的可以看到，呃，就是音乐或者舞蹈本身怎么把人跟人之间链接在一起。那再往大了还有什么？我觉得自然也是，嗯，啊，我其实还没有更好的总结，但是。Rafael 跟 Rafael 的这段谈话让我想蛮多的，啊、呃，然后非常感谢大家啊、呃、收看，然后 Thank you for watching. See you next time.